Ladies and gentlemen, we do thank you very much for your attention, and now we invite you to sit back, relax, and enjoy the takeoff. The cap- so hard every night and day, and now we get the payback. Trying so hard, saving up the paper now. Got bodies on bodies. Happy Thursday. Day two of the three-day cycle that God wanted y'all to take. Make sure you take it. It's important. Okay. So, I'm going to wait for everybody to trickle on in. I'm going to give a couple downloads of the energy that I feel. Because, baby, God says in these three days that he asks you to take the time that you needed to get connected spiritually. Because if you listen to my podcast, that was one of the things I said. Get connected spiritually. Okay? Get connected spiritually. Okay. In these three days, I had a private live today and I had a lot of downloads. Okay. Tomorrow is day three. I'm very excited to see what God wants to show me tomorrow. Um, but I want to go ahead and let y'all know that July 1st, because Neptune is in retrograde, it's the first month since then um it's the first month since um neptune will be in retrograde and it's approximately two weeks the the north node changing will happen in the middle of july literally literally that's probably why we've been seeing 717 okay the energy is shifting majorly so you can come into union with yourself that's very important for everybody to understand you're coming into union with yourself okay a lot of people keep talking about these unions of people and all these types of shit. And that's cute. That's great. But the number one person that's important is yourself. Okay? Nobody nobody else matters but you right now. If I could go ahead and just call a spade a spade. You dig what I'm saying? And tell you the truth. Nobody fucking matters but you. So, I got this download of like... Everybody needs to invest in themselves naturally. So your natural body, your natural skin, your natural hair, your natural everything. Everything natural of you. Nothing that you had to add to you. Everything natural of you needs to be worked on for 31 days. So you can set the tone by all the energy you are about to embody. With Lilith and Leo giving, giving cancer the room, you know, giving cancer the floor... The rest of this cancer season, you'll be calling your power back. As you call your power back, you have to make sure you're in a cycle of releasing all the old power and power that don't belong to you through something. You need to be working out. You need to be moving your body somehow. It's summertime. Get in the sun. Okay? I don't care if you swim. I don't give a fuck what you do. But get in the sun. You need it. Seriously. Okay? The sun has healing um, energy. The sun has DNA. The sun has everything that you would need to be able to embody energy that you're not familiar with. The North Node is unfamiliar territory. The sun is the element of fire. Okay? We're going to be in an 18-month cycle of the element of fire. You know you know why people normally fuck shit up? Because they, they start off shit too fast. They, they, they ignite everything too fast. Everything's too fast. And it's funny because I had channeled this song by Brent Fias called Too Fast. And he was like, people say I drive too fast, move too fast, live too fast. Ain't no such thing as too fast for me. There's no such thing as fast paced if you already know what you're doing. And he said, moving at the speed of light like a bullet. Okay? Now, he says a word that I don't use, but he was like... He was like, he could be off by tomorrow, okay? And what I feel like is that's the energy that we're going to be in. You're going to be in the energy of, like, you don't really have time to, like, this is not a false start anymore. Let me just go ahead and say that. This isn't a false start. We've had a lot of false starts. When you start to work out, it don't end right. You start a project, it don't end right. You start, you you know... 
How you doing? I'm your goddess. I got bodies on bodies. Okay, let's try this again. Living not a dream, broke is not. People were upset with that post when I told them that. Anywho, back to what I was saying. Okay, don't know why that happened, but it's okay. We're back. We're back. Anywho, now. The energy has basically been a lot of false starts because it needed to just see what are you gonna do with excess energy? What are you going to do when you have more energy than normal? How do you utilize your overage of energy? Okay. That's been a big thing for us to realize. You know, that's why all of a sudden a lot of us have become very creative. You know, you decided you want to start investing in other hobbies. You said, you, you know, you wanted to do this, you want to do that. And all of a sudden you find the energy to do it. Right. Okay. Now. The thing when the when this happens, the fact that Jupiter's in Taurus, you have to keep up the momentum of stable energy. So I want you to think of how you're gonna have to keep up stable energy of of Earth energy, and then you're gonna have to be in an energy that's moving extremely fast. Everything's gonna be moving at the speed of light. People's whole foundations are gonna crumble quickly. Everything just takes off very quickly in the world. You know, that's why I was telling y'all that this energy, get used to being thrown into shit head first. So you get thrown into a new thing head first, just kind of, you know, ground yourself. You get thrown into a new friendship, you get thrown into a new relationship, you get thrown into a new job, ground yourself. Things that are meant to be in your life at this time have a lot of patience. There's a lot of patience with the connections that you guys are about to be in. There's a lot of like, oh, okay, no, I understand. No, it's a lot of understanding, understanding of where you don't have to over explain. Thank you, Archangel. You know, people are always so nervous that things are going to fuck up. You know, that's something that when the North Node goes into Aries... If you allow yourself to go through this energy quick, not quickly, but if you allow yourself to like, you know, start getting in the cycle of like calling your power back and also like, you know what I'm saying? Releasing old energy and shit like that. When I tell y'all, you will never be bothered by what the fuck is going on in the world because everything has this like extra like understanding, mutual understanding, everything's mutual. Nothing's a, oh, I don't, I don't understand why this is happening. You know, there's no secret animosity. You know, that's something that a lot of people are used to in connections. They're always used to some type of secret animosity. That's another, that's like another, um, that's a trait of a bad ego. People that have bad egos, they always have animosity with everything in the world. They just got all this damn animosity and anger and irritation all in their fucking system. Like, why do you act like that? But see, we're going to be in a, in, a, in a system of where we get new energy, we release old energy, we get new energy, we release old energy, and we're like being more creative, we're being more fun, we're traveling, we're doing all these things, then you shouldn't have to worry, okay? Now, let's touch base on the water element. I would, I would 10 out of 10 recommend for y'all to stop fucking around in the water, okay? We're on the rise of the feminine energy. We're on the rise of the divine feminine energy. Mother Earth. Mother Earth's strongest element is water. Stop fucking around in the fucking water. Okay? You know, women are more powerful and men know that. Men know that women are more powerful than them. They know that. So, I don't know why we keep fucking with Mother Earth. As if she's not one to wipe us all out you know somebody brought this up to me the other day they said if the world was to take a if the if the water of the world was to take a deep breath we'd all be dead when i tell you i put that into perspective and i understood that shit you're absolutely right we're surrounded by so much water if the water was to just sneeze too fucking hard around our universe we'd all be dead and underwater stop fucking with the water 
okay? You took us by water on boats. So you have to pay us back, okay? In water on boats. Understand? Karma comes back in stability. Earth element is considered stability, landmarks. That's all stability, okay? You gotta get that shit back. And we're gonna get it back one way or another. But my biggest thing is as, as people of color, you need to really trust in your intuition when you're traveling to certain places and when you're stepping into certain places. Because see, I told y'all, the fact that you came back in this lifetime, really, it, you, you just, it's just the way it was, okay? And you kind of just getting caught in the wind fire of what the fuck is happening in the world. It's not even like you having to pay for the shit that you did. We, we just happen to be getting caught in the wind fire of other people's karma and other people's shit, unfortunately. Okay, so since we're getting caught in people's shit, therefore, it's just like, I think my best advice is to stay clear of other people's shit. That's my biggest advice to everybody of people of color. So if you get this feeling to not take your ass on a cruise or not to take your ass on a boat, don't. Okay, if people acting stupid on boats and in water, don't play with them. Don't, don't, you know, one thing I want us to do, and I want us to do this with so much love and so much grace. Let people do their own shit and, and go through their own little, little problems when it comes to any type of, like, dreadful things that they're having emotional. Let them go through that shit alone. Okay, because we don't got nothing to do with that. The people having outrageous type of emotions and shit like that, give them grace. And stay the fuck away from them. Thank you. Okay? Now... Here's the thing with the food, okay? Let me tell you about the food because that's another earth element. Mother Earth creates the soil. You need to truly, and I mean truly and truly and truly and truly intuitively, intuitively eat, okay? What do you mean by intuitively eat, OG? Meaning you need to allow your spirit to call to the foods that it needs, Okay, and allow it to call to the foods that it needs and the timing that it needs it. Because once again, we're getting caught in the wind fire of how they have gained control through food. Okay, that's a big thing to pay attention to. All these foods, they're fucking with it. They're fucking with it in the worst ways. Jesus help us all. That's why they keep talking about they done came up with the fucking man-made chicken. That's crazy crazy chickens are an original animal you know how i know because noah when noah had his ark he had two of each animal so therefore we're, why did y'all need to create a fake a fake chicken right because you wanted to control thank you then a lot of everybody needs to get into more like you know i told y'all that vegan shit you know some people needed to get into vegan shit because they their body has never actually been oh shit been in the vegan role you know like their bodies never had that and then some people that are vegan they need to actually get into the what is it carnivore when people eat meat i don't know but they need to get into that because your body needs to be able to um go through all four seasons okay that's nasty work right there your body needs to be able to go through all four seasons and why do i say that is because the north node is starting over Aries is the beginning of the zodiac. North nodes go backwards. So after the North Node and I mean after the North Node and Aries, then the North Node and Pisces will be here. When the North Node goes into Pisces, that's in two years. Okay. I'm, I know I'm really ahead, but just remember I said this. When the North Node goes into Pisces, there's a lot of karma that has to be paid to our bodies and to our minds and our spirits. Okay, your spirit is fed through everything that you do energetically. It's a reflection. Okay, so while the North Node is in Aries, a lot of the, the a lot of the burning down that has to happen, it has to happen to every single Earth element. Anything that has to do with the Earth element, because karma has to be paid back in stability. So in order for us to get paid back, we have to knock it all down. You guys are gonna see a lot of food plants and plant like plant, whatever plant power plants, any type of plants. 
They're going to go through shit. So expect outages. Okay, we're, we're getting back to that energy of outages. In Libra season, there was a lot of power outages where I was living it at that time randomly. So you guys need to get used to that. Um, so, you know, making sure you have things like light bulbs. I mean, not light bulbs, flashlights, you know, batteries, you know, kind of kind of get those like type of things, you know, home kits. Thank you, Spirit. Home kits. You guys need to get home kits. All right, let's go ahead and get the home kits. We're going to have a very prosperous time. But, baby, we need to be, we're really getting geared up for the fuck up that they're about to go through. Okay? Because a lot of those plants, they're going to be burned down, blown up. You know, I, I, I think it's interesting that they started with the cows. See, whole time, they, they're being, they're, they're thinking that they're burning it down to gain control whole time it's being burnt down so we can get exposure you need to be exposed for what you do so if our if our, we pay attention to what our spirits start to kind of get us away from chicken how long do y'all think chicken's gonna be able to survive lab created before we catch the fuck on see i had this download about the vaccines being a trial they were they were a trial they wanted to see who, who they could control, what they could control, all that shit, okay? Since this is a 2020 remix, it's the same exact thing. They're trying to see who they can control and what they can control. That was the biggest guinea pig of the energy. We've never been through a lockdown like that. So they learned so much in this lockdown that they kind of use as an experiment. So when the North Node is in Aries, they're going to really use us as fucking guinea pigs and experiments on us with a lot of things that they can gain control over. Since we're in the age of Aquarius, we're too nosy. So instead of them trying to control us through things that we are aware of, they're going to control us through things that we use on an everyday basis. Power, food, you know what I'm saying? Medicines. Everything that we use on a daily basis, that's how they're going to control us. They're going to try to find control through that, but they're going to slowly implement it. So therefore, right now, your spirit is trying to slowly implement you into different things that you've also started. For the, like you, you started this shit within the last 18 months. You started to craft, boom. You started to work out, boom. You started to eat this differently, boom. You've been doing, it's like, it's been slowly implemented into your body. So you'll be like, you can't throw yourself into shit. God is only throwing you into lifestyles. God is only throwing you into mindsets. He's throwing you to relationships. But things that affect your body have to be slowly implemented into your daily routine. In the live, <clears throat> in the live that I did last week, and I had those cute little curls or whatever. The, it, it, I don't know how the fuck it got deleted and it will not let me upload it. I was telling y'all that the focus will be the sixth house. The sixth house has a lot to do with your routines, the service for each other, your pets, all types of shit. You know, a lot more people will, will kind of remove themselves from animals in the home. A lot more people will be removing themselves from the animals from their home. And a lot more people will be realizing that their animal spirit is what keeps them very codependent. And why do I say they're going to remove it from the home? Because see, if home is where the heart is, you know, some people really take their pet seriously. And the thing about it is they try to use it as an emotional support animal. And it's a fucking chihuahua. What the fuck does that animal do for you? That was, that was a codependency codependency people use their animals to be very codependent and animals are going to start to wake up to their being codependent from their owners watch 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 the more in the more the more we're thrown into more independent energy the more that the more, the more that we're thrown into independent energy, the more we realize all the things that we're codepending on. So there's a lot of people that are codependent on pharmaceutical drugs. You'll be slowly but surely released off that into holistic things. Healing yourself with um, herbs, healing yourself through food, healing yourself through 
the elements of the world, the sun, you know what I'm saying? The water. You'll be able to heal yourself through that, okay? Watch. Okay? Because I don't know why people don't understand this, but animals have souls. That's why when people ask me, like, oh, OG, what's up with you and dogs? I don't fuck with dogs because I've seen dogs in a past life, sweetie. Okay? In a past life, dogs wasn't these four-legged creatures that y'all look at now. The motherfuckers was humans with dog heads. Yeah. We talking about big butt-ass niggas with dog heads, blue eyes. I've seen it in dreams. That's why I don't play around with dogs. Oh, no, 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 no. If you watch the movie Good Omens, I mean, the, if you watch the show Good Omens, the devil hound that came from hell made his body small into a little dog. And he was the devil the entire time. No, I don't play around with those. I don't play around with dogs. I don't know what it is. And it's specific because, you know, they're so friendly. You know, I always tell you, I'm nice. I'm not friendly. The devil's very friendly. Yeah, that's why I don't play like that. That's why dogs are loyal to their owners. Okay? People really don't, people really don't really think about things in depth. Okay? I don't play those games. But you see how all these people, like, you know, the last year that I worked in healthcare, so many ditzy women would come in to get the primary care doctor to literally write notes about how the dog was emotionally, a su emotional support dog. The dog, the dog damn near had three fucking legs. What the fuck is it supporting? You ever wonder why dogs attack people randomly? They, they attack the people. Exactly. Okay. And I seen them in a dream. They had them on fucking leashes and chains. And it was multiple men holding the chains of these men with dog heads. I don't play those games. I don't play those games. Why do you think people have to train them? Yeah. And why do you think if a dog does something, somebody be like, oh my God, that's normally not like them. They normally don't act like that. Because, bitch, they feel something. Stop playing around with these animals. Same thing with horses. Horses, all of a sudden, somebody standing next to the horse, the horse kicked the shit out of you. These animals are not playing because they're a part of Mother Earth. You know, a lot of, a lot of, um, a lot of, um, and you know, I believe that people reincarnate into animals at times. That's why you have so much connection to your animal instinct. That's why I said I fuck with, I mean, you know, I'm all like about like the cat. That's why I really, another reason why I feel like I don't fuck with dogs, because I was a cat before. Like, get the fuck away from me. Lions, okay? All those animal instincts, because you used to be one. This is really, this is real. Like, I know this sounds so like mystical and so magical, but this shit is all real. And that's exactly what we're getting into with the North Node and Aries because it's new familiar territory of what war is. Everybody's been like, we've been through spiritual warfare. We've been through spiritual warfare. How the fuck are we in spiritual warfare and we haven't even gotten to the sign of war? The last time when, when Mars was in Aries, the very first day that Mars was in Aries, that boy shot up that school. When anything is in the last year, make it a put your hands on your knees. Okay, so we're back. Read me out the place that I've been at them brand new. It's the puff balls for me. Looking like somebody damn near look kid. Uh huh. A bitch begin to real. All of a sudden, it paused. That's fine. I told y'all I'm on I'm on 2023 2024 I'm on a ass with all the truth you know why because they always be fucking lying y'all about to see why I said you need to get you an Aries friend or learn from an Aries because Aries been ahead of the time for a minute and now everything that we said is gonna make a lot of sense sweetie gonna make a lot of sense sweetie 
Y'all not ready for the truth. The truth shall set you free. The truth shall set you free, honey. Every time we get too truthful, all of a sudden this shit be reconnecting, whatever. But yeah, a lot of that shit's gonna happen. Huh? Yeah. Them fucking Peter people too. Let me. I ain't even finna get on them Peter people, but whatever. You know, a lot of organizations, the truth behind the organization and how they truly don't follow the morals and the values of the organizations, that will also be exposed during this North Node and South Node transition. You know, so all these organizations that swear they so strong on this and strong on these morals and values and strong on this, that'll also be identified that, mm, not really, you, feel, you don't care that much. You don't really care that much. It's not that serious. You don't care. That's another thing that's going to happen. You know. All the all the industries have to basically repent. All the industries have to repent. Every industry has to repent for their sins. They all have to repent for their lack of integrity. Every industry has to repent. That's why God's children have been doing nothing but surrendering, repenting, praying, asking for guidance. This is why. Because we needed to be purified of all this shit. So when God takes the rest of y'all under, we won't be crucified. Because everybody in my collective wakes up every morning blessed and highly favored. Okay. We going through the tears. We have going through the sadness. We have going through all those things. We've even, we've even gained a sense of understanding of why certain things come back to trigger. So you can handle it in a more healed way instead of A, ignoring it. Or B, falling victim to it. That's it. Life is easy for me. That's one of the affirmations that we used to say. Life is easy. Why is life easy? Because I put it out in the universe that I refuse to stress and make life harder than what it is. That's an illusion. All that is an illusion. Everything that we have to deal with that's complicated is an illusion. Once you gain emotional stability and emotional intelligence, you realize that the only reason why you're going through this darkness is because the devil sees you to be of a priority. He sees you to be important. Hoes hate me because I'm the it girl. That's why the devil's even around you. You know the devil don't be around shit that's not important. Think about it. Every, if every industry needs to repent their sins, it's because the devil found that it was important. Music was very important. You know... Everything that falls under Neptune's energy, the devil has found to be very important. So now everybody that's a part of that needs to repent. You know? And they need to they need to surrender to the Lord. That's why, you know what I'm saying? I I'm not telling y'all to get all these things out of fear. I don't want you to get flashlights out of fear. I don't want you to get non-perishable items out of fear. Okay? I don't want you to feel like what we're going through, this war that we're going through, you have to fear it. You shall not fear anything because God is on your side, okay? God is on your side. God will take care of you. As he has shown you, you've made it through COVID, you made it through pandemics, you made it through no money, with money, you made it without food, with food, with family, no family. You made it. God continues to give us a way each and every time. God finds a way for us. Where there's a will, there's a way. There is no such thing as impossible when it comes to God. Y'all know I don't play about God. Y'all know what I'm saying? I don't play like that. I really don't play like that. You know what I'm saying? So understand when I'm telling you this, it's because of the fact that we just happen to be in the time of the world that we got caught in the midst of the change of the of the fucking universe and so instead of us looking at it as a burden we just need to look at it and just be grateful we need to be grateful that we're a part of this very monumental time is that a word monumental does that mean historic (laughs) 
Yes. Yes. Thank you. When we start actually embracing that we're a part of something big, it's when you actually get to embrace the glory of the energy. Okay? That is the priority. Each day to call back your power is to call on the glory and the favor of God. And y'all know I can't stand somebody that come on here talking about God like they like they know him like that. But y'all know me, I'm his right hand, I'm his right hand woman. We for lifers. So right now, this is the connection to spirit that I'm trying to get everybody with. So if you don't believe in God, that's perfectly fine. I told you I'm never here to sway you over here, baby. But whoever your higher power is, you need to lock in for you tweak out. Okay. You know, that's why everything I reference to, I try to bring it all together. I bring astrology, numerology, the Bible. I try to bring current events, old events. I try to bring it all to the forefront so you don't have no excuse to feel like you cannot make it in this time. Like, and that's 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 kind of all I just really need to under, get y'all to understand. You don't have no excuse to survive this time. I don't want to hear shit about no depression, anxiety, procrastination. I don't want to hear about no anger. I don't want to hear about none of that shit. Because of the fact of everything that you want to know, the core reason of why is being given to you. You want to know why motherfuckers act like that? God is showing you. Hey, look, this is why they act like that. You want to know why things don't go this way? God will show you. This is why this don't go that way because of this. Like, I think if we just get over the fact that we need to know things before we step into it, we'll actually survive this energy easier because, hell, we don't never find out before we get there. I don't know not one thing that I found out before I got there. Every step of my journey, I've had to find out at the very moment a bitch stepped in the scene. I don't know. I was moving off vibes. That's why when people ask you, that's why I kept trying to say this summer is going to be so fucking lit because you just, you're just going to have to be there. And being there means that you have to trust wherever you're going is somewhere you need to be. And at the very moment you feel like you don't need to be there, bitch, exit the building. Bye, stank. You know, I've never known a generation or I've never, and, and this might just be my past life talking right now. I've never known a collective people that just need to be places. Like, y'all want to be seen so bad in, in the streets. Y'all want to be seen so bad in the world. Like, why do y'all want to be seen so bad? And so now, we're in the energy where our energy is, is, is what's being seen. And y'all motherfuckers trying to hide. Where is you going? Then when we really need to see you. And that, that, that to me goes to show that a lot of y'all souls was never in the right place. They never was in the right place. Because now we get to literally walk on earth as a, as a light, as a vessel. And people is bowing out voluntarily. <laughs> I'm flabbergasted. <laughs> I'm flabbergasted. Because are, are you okay? Like seriously, are you okay? Because what are you doing? What are you doing? A lot of the steps of survival that we'll be getting, and I, I feel like I'll get them so I can be able to relay them to my collective and relay them to you guys as they come. But I'm not going to lie. We can't get bombarded with a lot of energy because Aries rules the head. The most dangerous place that a person can live in is in their head. So if you are constantly getting information, you are constantly getting instructions, you are constantly getting things, you can't get it all at one time because it will always stay in the head. Once an Aries placement or an Aries has gotten out their head, they normally, they realize that they were their worst enemy. I don't know if y'all ever remember me saying this, but people that had Saturn and Aries, those are the people that actually struggled the worst during during um, the last couple of like years since COVID because they had been isolated and isolation makes you have to become a very strong minded person. So if you had Saturn and Aries, you probably had a very rough three years because of the fact that you had to literally fight through everything in your head, which is a very dangerous place to be in. Yes, I believe that wholeheartedly. People that have Saturn and Aries, 
they've been fighting themselves this entire three years and the fact that the north nose is changing i bet them i bet anybody that has a aries and i'm a, and i feel like also mercury if you have aries moon mercury mars saturn and you have any of those aries any of those planets in your houses i know your ass is so happy to get out get into this energy because you are finally being able to see the other side i feel like a lot of people that have those aries placements they have not been able to see the other side of shit and it's been tearing they ass up it's been tearing they ass up because they can't they it's like they it's like they know something more but they can't put their finger on it so it's just been tearing they ass up oh my god it's been tearing they ass up but now that saturn's in pisces it's kind of giving a little bit of a, like a leeway and it's giving a little bit of a confidence to people that have sat in the aries because that means like the next step and i mean of course it's 20 years from now but it's just a step closer to being in aries and it, it you know pisces make you feel very calm you know, uh, Pisces make Aries very, like, you know, relax. You know, like, you kind of get them to see the lighter side of life. You know? Anybody that has that duo, you know. Because, you know, it's like water putting out fire. But instead of, like, Pisces don't need to just dump the water like Scorpios. Pisces want to just let you flow into it. So they'll they'll bring you a flow. Like, come on, flow with me. Flow with me. Flow with me. That's the energy that I feel. And, baby, I just know it's been tearing y'all ass up because I have that. I have a place in one of those placements. And, baby, it's been tearing me up because, for one, I've been shown things that I still don't have physical proof. And I can't renege and say it's not true. And that blows me because I want the proof. I want the, I want to see the motherfucking paperwork. Okay? I'm waiting to see the fucking paperwork because every time I try to tell myself that it wasn't true, I'm tripping, I'm being delusional. God be like, are you sure about that? Are you sure about that? And I'm like, yeah, I'm sure it's not real. The dream was bullshit. I was tripping. So I said, all right, be careful what you ask for because your ass might just get all the information you need at once. You know, the other side of the energy that a lot of people are not ready to see, they're the, the uh, okay, no, the other side of the of the of the spectrum that we're about to see, we're about to see the shit that causes the war. <laughs> like that's why that's why life has been so trying to be very trying to ease us into this shit. Because the shit that we gonna find out, the shit that we gonna see, oh that's the shit that's gonna make you go ape shit. That's the shit that's gonna make you go ape shit. See, and that's and now I understand it a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? Because as an Aries, I can be very impulsive, and I can be very. I want directness. I want it. Give it to me straight. And God was like, I don't know about that. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. We just give it to you straight. You know, you might lose your shit. And it's just like, no, I'm not. But then again, we are very fat. We are, we're very fiery. We rule Mars. We rule destruction. We literally rule the planet. A motherfucking passion, sex, and war. Not battles, war. So something tells me that we've had to be eased into this 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 cycle because whatever the fuck is on the other side of this North Node, baby, it is what's gonna tear your ass up. And when I see me tear you up, it's probably gonna make you mad. Like it's gonna it's gonna make you hot. I hear God say it's gonna make you hot. Like. The, the information that we're about to learn as a collective, whether it's in your personal life or it's in your what you call it life, it's the type of shit that really like gets you, it gets the gears going. It gets the people excited. Why do you think niggas in Paris was called niggas in Paris? <laughs> Cause niggas was in Paris. Yeah, this is the type of shit that make you piss. It's that type of energy that make you hot, like mad, want to fire off off somebody, you know. And that's what they're trying to make sure that we understand that we don't do is don't be so impulsive with what you know. Play it smart. Stand behind that shield of protection. I had a private live today, and I explained to my collective. I said, if you ask any Aries placement about the people around them. And ask them how they live their life. 
I put money that that Aries placement has not been touched with the chaos that other people in their world have been touched with. I promise you they haven't. They, are, they have not been touched with the, with, the, with the battle that everybody else has been touched with. Them people have been minding their business, going about their day. You know why? Because they stood behind the shield of protection that they ancestors. So meaning that they don't know who's talking shit about them. They don't know if somebody stole from them. They don't know if somebody could train them. They don't know because they've been behind the shield of protection, meaning they have not been bothered. To be protected is to be unbothered. And during this time, protection is at an all-time high because you've conquered so much when it comes to godly consciousness. See, godly consciousness might be given to you, but does not mean you know how to use it. Just because somebody gives you a new a new toy, a new instrument, and doesn't mean you know how to use it. Just because God gave you another a, a, a better consciousness, just because God gave you a godly consciousness doesn't mean you know how to use it and that's exactly what we see and a lot of people don't know how to use their godly frequency because if they knew how to use their godly frequency one we wouldn't have so much devilish shit in the world and two we'd have a lot more people in better places but we don't you know why because they don't know how to use their godly frequency so God has been training everybody to learn how to use their godly frequency so now you can implement everything that you learn into the war What's the point of wasting your skills in a battle when you need them during a war? And the words applies. Check my resume. I'm known for stunting. You hear me? So, remember that. Okay? I want y'all to remember that. Wholeheartedly remember that. Alright? Um, what's something else that I talked about? I, I don't know if the first two lives I'm opposed to the first two lives. I might. It depends. Um. So I remember having the download of Keep Cash. Okay. I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure the full download yet. And I don't know if that's for me to learn. I mean, I mean not for me to learn. For me to say just yet. So I'm not going to speak too much on that, but financial advisory, I'm not a financial advisor, so I won't be giving you financial advice, but I will be giving you direction, okay? When I say direction, meaning I will direct you down the right path of who you need to go talk to financially, okay? Or the things that you need to be prioritizing financially, okay? Um, you know... I talked about the food. I talked about that. So, while Mercury is going through a lot of the transitions up until Mercury gets into Virgo, you guys need to be able to. Oh, shit. Oh, that's a leaf. I thought that was a bug. Jesus. While Mercury is going through these transits, y'all need to be using, utilizing the energy of these transits to help you transform the way you communicate with yourself and the way you communicate with others. You know what I'm saying? So the fact that Mercury's in Cancer and Merc in Cancer is switching with Capricorn, meaning you need to understand that you need to learn how to speak business and series. You know, you know, there's a people out here that don't even speak up for themselves when they food is fucked up. Like, you know, it's people that don't know how to talk to people when they need them to do something. That's crazy. Okay. You know, it's people that don't know how to address situations without it being like confrontation. Okay. When then when um, Mercury goes into Leo, another thing to look out is a lot of people will be utilizing their egotistic traits to manipulate you in a way to making it seem like you don't have control over your own ego. So be aware of that because when Mercury goes into Leo, there will be a lot of triggers. So therefore, since Leo has switched with Aquarius, your intellect comes from your psychic ability. The Mercury's transitions will help you with your psychic abilities and your gifts from your subconscious. Okay? So don't think you're just going to be starting to read people's minds and shit. But the way you articulate yourself and the intellect... You see what I'm saying? It's coming from your subconscious mind. 
So you're going to be more tapping into how your subconscious mind wants you to think and wants you to speak when it comes to certain situations and certain people. That's very important to pay attention to because I told Aquarius that people are intimidated by your intellect, but it comes from your psychic abilities. You're just too far ahead. They don't have the mental capacity to be able to withhold the information that you're trying to relate to them. So therefore, once you grasp the concept that people don't have that capacity, that storage, I'm trying to tell y'all, you're not going to worry about having arguments and all that type of shit. You're going to see the contradiction for what it is and you're just going to let it go because there is no such thing as miscommunications and misinterpretations and shit. Anything that was missed was a contradiction. So bitch, either you're going to admit the contradiction or you're not. And if you're not going to admit the contradiction, bitch, well, I will see the contradicting information and I will take note of the contradiction information and I'll get the fuck on. It's very simple. Okay. People, people like to deny contradicting behavior. They, they like to be in denial about their contradicting behavior. You know how I know that? Because when I was in denial about my contradicting behavior, I was always trying to make it seem like it was a miscommunication or I misinterpreted. I didn't misinterpret shit. I was contradicting what I truly knew from what I wanted to know. Simple. Let's start taking more accountability when it comes to our thoughts and what we say. You know, so many people want to play the, the they want to play the, the, the soft skin. They want to play the sensitive role. But I'm so sorry to tell you, you cannot play a sensitive role if you're always going to be contradicting the truth. And yes, we all perceive things different. But one thing about it is, she might have a story, he might have a story, they might have a story. But that still does not take away from what the fuck was the truth. You know, there's always one truth. I don't give a fuck. We all have different truths. There's one truth to every solution in life. Okay? Even if we all do the problem different. It all... The answer... My thing is, if we all get a problem, right? And this is this is an exercise that I have for one of my seminars. But I want to go ahead and explain this to y'all now. If I was to give you an equation... You do it differently. She does it differently. But, you, but the answer still gets you to seven... What the fuck does it matter? It's still, the answer still is seven. So it's still the truth. You can't get 13 and try to argue with me that the answer is 13 when the answer is fucking seven. Bitch, try again. And that's what we're going to have happen as all these transits and mercury. When I tell y'all people, people really going to do that shit. They going to really do that shit. They gonna really do that shit. It's gonna be so bad. It's gonna dis- it's gonna disgust you. You know, the collective of people that have not ascended and they have not felt the energy to ascend, they are purely disgusting. Their energy is disgusting. Their presence is disgusting. And it, it's not to it's not to like single them out, but it's just like, what is wrong with you? That's why you know the grace that you have to have is grace of your own self, not for them. Okay, the grace that y'all have to have for people going forward is for yourself, not them. Because if you try to figure other people out right now, you'll be stressed. Oh, God, you'll be stressed. You'll be stressed. You'll be stressed. You'll even know the truth about them and you'll still be aggravated because of the fact of if you can see the truth in them, why can't they? And that is what you're going to have to remove yourself from because people don't want to see it. Once again, they're trying to make seven out of the equation and the equation was i mean they're trying to make 13 out of an equation that equals seven that's why i ain't gonna lie that's why as women you can't pay men no attention right now <laughs> i'm not gonna keep saying that and as women that's why you can't pay other women no attention right now you know People that are vibrating high based off of the healing energy that we are receiving through downloads and through, you know what I'm saying, through our dreams, they have a different type of flow through life. It's like you can just recognize them as they're flowing through life. It's like, oh my God, another butterfly. Hi. You know? And it's not like you're just all like, you know, overly impressed. Like, oh my God, it's another butterfly. It's like, oh my God, a butterfly. Hey girl or hey boy. That's it. That's all it is. It's just an acknowledgement. Thank you, Spirit. 
it's an acknowledgement. You know, the, when the North Node is in Aries, that's going to be the biggest thing. The acknowledgement of power. The acknowledgement of independence. The acknowledgement of love. The acknowledgement of it. The acknowledgement. Oh my God. That's all you're going to be able to do is acknowledge people. And that is going to be such a beautiful thing because we've gone so many centuries, decades, bloodlines, generations, lifetime without feeling acknowledged. We've always wanted to be accepted. That's that's the part that we've always we've always wanted to skip the acknowledgement and just wanted to be accepted. And see, that's what put us in people pleasing energy. Because we didn't we we skipped wanting to be acknowledged for what we did and we just wanted to be accepted. You know, you need to get real acquainted with just being acknowledged by people and that's it. You know why you just need to only get acquainted with acknowledgement? Because of the fact that people's acceptance isn't your isn't your problem anymore. Who gives a fuck if they accept you or not? Do you accept you? You only need to give energy to the people that are going to truly accept you. You just need to give you the bare minimum is acknowledgement. You don't have to like me, bitch. You don't even have to love me, but you will respect me. And respect comes with acknowledgement. You respect the power that you see because you acknowledge the power within. It's very simple. Hey, you talking about? We don't have time for that no more. That's why I laugh at my old videos because, bitch, I was a fucking menace to society. I was taking hoes out every chance I got. Every chance I got to tell people the truth and what the, what the fuck it really was, I did. So everybody that was being all sensitive, you know why you was being sensitive? Because you wanted me to accept you for the bare minimum that you give. Instead of me just acknowledging the worthless energy within you. That's sickening. You want me to accept that, 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 that word, unworthy shit. No, I'm going to acknowledge it and I'm going to keep going because I've acknowledged what you are and I've accepted what you are. So as long as I've acknowledged it and I've accepted it, baby, that's all I, that's, that's all I can give you. That's all I can give you. Watch. Start acknowledging people for what they are. Watch how your energy shifts to be so much more empowered and confident. Because you're not trying to force yourself to accept people and accept their situations. Because once you acknowledge them for who they are and what they are, accepting them for that won't be a problem. You know, a lot of us can't really get over the, the acceptance of things because we, we're, we don't want to acknowledge the toxicity. We don't want to acknowledge it. But I'm trying to tell you, I bet you, you start acknowledging people for what they are, how much more better you'll feel. Because you'll realize that but you knew who I was when you seen me. I'm not going to overdo myself no more. I'm not going to do that. Exactly. That was the acknowledgement right there. When I told them people to stitch my video, I bet you my stitches was low. I had more bitches in my comments than I had bitches in my stitches. Because you had to show the universe how dumb you sounded. People don't, people don't want that. <laughs> they don't want that. They didn't want that. They'd rather, they rather argue their point in my comments to, for me to accept their point of view instead of them acknowledging how they really sounded, which was stupid. Watch. Watch the energy. Okay. What else? Because I've already talked about a lot of those stuff in the other lives. Oh, pay attention to the mothers. I'm going to just go ahead and just touch base on this real quick. Acceptance and acknowledgement comes from a maternal energy. It comes from feminine energy. Okay? Y'all going to find out the truth about a lot of people's moms. You going to find out the truth about your own mother. Okay? Whether she's a great mom or not a good mom. You going to find out the truth about it in the connection. All right? That's very, that's very, 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 very important to pay attention to. Okay? Um, a lot of people will either be given more gratitude to maternal energies in their life or they'll finally seek the truth that a lot of people did not really have true maternal energy. You know, I see a lot like I see like a woman that had a lot of foster kids and she only had the foster kids for the money. It was never because she wanted to be a mother. That's the type of shit y'all gonna find out that, that they're conniving that they lie they steal yes i'm gonna say this i'm gonna try to i'm gonna try to post all of them because they all have information in them 
Okay. Um, let's see, what else? Focus on your inner child. That's very important, okay? Everybody needs to focus on their inner child because you are now becoming the mother of your inner child or the father of your inner child, whether you're a man or a woman. You're becoming the parent that you were not able to be. And it's not becoming a parent based off the reflection of your parent. This is a reflection of if God was to tell you, parent this child, how would you parent the child within yourself? Okay? So, honestly, all people can do is is they can give you advice when it comes to being a parent. But they cannot make the decision of what you do with your child. That's your fucking child. You can easily tell somebody, this is my motherfucking kid. Mind your motherfucking business. Okay? What else? Is that it? I think that's it for now. That's all the downloads that I have. Get in the sun. Drink your water. Get in the pool. Summer is... July, there's a there's a 31 day challenge for you to perfect the natural part of you. Don't worry about trying to have a number of weight to lose. Don't worry about like, you know, how many spots you need to get rid of. How many inches of hair you want to grow. Don't worry about that. Just invest in your natural body as a whole. And I bet you by August 1st, you're going to see the, the biggest change you ever have within yourself. I promise you. Even even the way you invest in the people that you listen to. The people that everything, everything. Invest in that. Your mind is your natural mind, your natural, your heart, all your chakras. Invest in that. That's very important, okay? Um... I don't know. Y'all just need to stop playing in the fucking water. That's one thing I just need everybody to stop doing. Stop playing in the ocean and lakes and creeks. Any water that's attached to the earth, stop playing with it. Okay? Stop playing with that water. Seriously. I just told myself I want to go on a natural food side. Oh my God. I'm so happy for you. You should definitely do that. Are you not signed up on the Are you not signed up on the texting app anymore, Taylor? Cuz I know I got two Taylors on here, but are you are you not signed up anymore? I can't remember. I said, did you, did you get my text? But Yeah, DM me cuz I done did some changes. Yeah, 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 yeah. DM me. I done did some changes so I can update you. Yeah, DM me. DM me. DM me. I did some updates. So I, I want to let you know the updates I did before you just sign back up, okay? So yeah, DM me so I can let you know all the updates. Yeah, that sub- submarine thing was fucking insane. <sighs> okay, y'all. Um, this is day two out of three. Please take the time that you need tomorrow spiritually because i feel like there's going to be a plane just went by there's going to be a lot of ascension okay you might be very tired tomorrow you might be very hungry you know what i'm saying i want you to give yourself a lot of grace you might actually have your last cheat meal tomorrow before your ass start really getting into the energy seriously like you might really really get into something like your spirit might say they want a fucking 10 piece I don't know. I just feel like that. I feel like you might even have your last cheat meal tomorrow. You might have your last turn up where you get to go smoke weed, drink and shit. Just let you get all that shit out. Because something tells me the 31 days, July is going to be so fast paced that you have to make sure you keep up with your energy. Like, seriously. So they might allow you to have a lot of grace with yourself tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Maybe like let you watch a whole bunch of low vibrational stupid ass shit. I don't fucking know. But I just feel like that. I feel like tomorrow is like it like seals the deal. Because when Neptune goes retrograde, anything that you're being delusional about, you can no longer be delusional. So your awareness level is going to go up, I feel. And I told y'all, a bitch that don't move is a bitch that don't make no money. Okay, and this is men and women. A man that don't move, he ain't gonna make no money. So all that trying to kick it and play games all in the house all day, nigga, you need to get your ass outside, you need to get your ass in the gym, get your ass in the field. 
all that drinking liquor and smoking weed and all that, you know what I'm saying, doing all them pills and shit that y'all niggas be doing, cut it. Cut it. Your body needs 31 days to adjust to this North Node change. Because you're coming into union with yourself. So you got 31 days to allow yourself to come in union. Some of y'all might go on social media fast. Like I just see like a lot of y'all doing drastic things. Because your spirit needs you to do it. Your spirit needs you to do all that. So I just want to let everybody know. Last might have a might go to a Chinese buffet tomorrow. That might be your last shitty ass meal, honey, for a minute. So you supposed to get on your Zoom every every time. You supposed to get on your Zoom. So I don't know. I just feel like that, and I feel like it's gonna be like you got 31 days, and you are gonna be by yourself, not by yourself, but like this ain't something you gotta like show social media. Like somehow it's like a pop out. You know, my homegirl said it was a silent glow up. And I felt her that on that shit heavy. Something tells me July got a, it got a silent glow up. Like, it's just like, bitch, you just glow up. Like, it's like an overnight thing, but like, it ain't really overnight, but it's overnight. So, I don't know. Got one more day. You got what that inner child want to do. You know what I'm saying? You want a burger? Go get a burger. Street tacos. I want street tacos, man. I want street tacos with cilantro, onion, and some verde sauce. I really want some wing stock. <laughs> you better get on your Zoom. You better get on your Zoom. Every, every I'm telling y'all, get on your fucking Zoom. Because we're going into financial things, okay? I don't know about y'all, but I want me some money. I don't know about job, but I want me some money. So however I can align myself to the bad bitch, God sign me up, okay? Sign me the fuck up. I don't know how I can get back to, I don't know how I can get to the dad. And I don't care about the how. I'm just going to align my energy so money just be like, who that? Who that over there? Yeah, that's how I'm going to be. So y'all better get on this way. Okay, I want the money. I want the money. And I feel like there's payouts for obedience. Okay? Because we're in the time of reparations. I'm sorry to tell you. I want the payouts. And I know it's coming. Like, God, how you going to react? You don't got no money. So, baby, imagine when money starts flying around this motherfucker. All of a sudden, money just stopped flying around, bitch. I'm just like, I don't know about y'all, but bitch, the money need to fly to me instantly. Instantly. Uh, I ain't missing out on this way. This is, this, and this is the part of the recession I was telling y'all about. This is it. This is the recession. This is the part I was telling y'all about. This is, if this is a 2020 remix, how many people became millionaires in 2020? How many people got a financial glow up in 2020? Bitch, it will be me. Sign me the fuck up. When you say rich, rich black women of 2023, 2024, OG's name's on that list. Watch my smoke. Watch my motherfucking smoke. It's going to be the most money a bitch ever made in her life. Triple. And you don't even know. You don't even know. Baby, I'm not playing. I'm not missing this way. I'm not missing this way. People grew up in 2020, okay? And one thing about it is my ego doesn't need... I don't need to starve my soul for my ego no more. So I don't need the money so I can show social media that I'm a rich bitch. I've been a wealthy bitch from the day I stepped foot on social media. So therefore, I don't need to be rich, baby. I need to be wealthy. And the wealthy are very silent with their wealth. Amen, amen. Amen, amen. Do you feel like you'll be looked at funny if you do? Do you not know? It's a girl on TikTok. She a badass bitch, too. She's a manager at McDonald's. That bitch driving the fucking Benz. Her and her kids be traveling. Bitch, hair be slayed. She be having all types of jewelry. 
Look, I'ma come get a McFlurry from your ass. Hey, you talking about? I'm pulling up. The fuck you talking about? I need a, I need a damn hot and spicy meat chicken basket, bitch. I'm pulling up. You know one thing that a lot of people are gonna get over? Y'all gonna get over what the fuck society think about the type of jobs that y'all do. Y'all gonna get over the fact y'all... Because what I'm telling y'all is... They're negotiating people's worth and finances in all these companies. So you gonna work your ass at Wingstop as a manager... And your ass is gonna be making $75,000 a year. It paused again. I'm telling y'all... Y'all better stop. Y'all better get out your motherfucking feelings. Worry about what the fuck other people are saying. Bitch, if you want to be a pilot... And you can't get a be a pilot for Delta, bitch. Be a be a pilot for private jets. I'm trying to tell you, these companies are going through negotiation because God has got His people inside that room. So if God got His people inside that room, that means that they're vouching for God's people. Do y'all hear all the confirmation? Stop worrying about what the next hoe say, cause the next hoe ain't got no money for you. That's what I've been trying to tell y'all. Like, I am not opposed to y'all working. You need to find out how you can get you some fucking money. Okay? But my thing is, I don't believe that you should be working in jobs that you literally hate. You should be working at jobs that you literally are crying. Your mental health is being affected by. I'm not going to support that, bitch. But if you end up, if you end up being a gen, come on. If you end up being a general manager at a fucking Popeye's. And your ass is making $85,000 a year. Bitch, let me hold a dollar in a basket of chips. What am I judging you for? You make 85 k a year. You make 100 grand a year. Leave people's opinions of what you are doing in this 18-month North Note. Tell them people to kiss your ass. Because God is setting you up for you to have three sources of income minimum. So you might be a waitress, you might be an entrepreneur, you might be an influencer, and you might be a waitress at a motherfucking little ass diner, but I bet you your ass at all three of them jobs, your ass make $125,000 a motherfucking year. You got health insurance, you got dental insurance, you got your 401k, you got a good savings account, your car paid off. Stop letting these people fucking play in y'all fucking face about what you do in life. Shit. The fuck you talking about? Your ass can be a damn manager at Target making $35 an hour. They're going up on wages. So as they're going up on wages, those little petty ass jobs that we didn't want no more, them petty ass jobs is not making bank. Alright? So I don't want to hear it. Oh, OG done got Hollywood on that. OG just trying to cheat. She looking down. You's a motherfucking lie. Bitch, you better get your ass in the field. Get off the phone. Listening to these hoes talk about, I can help you make 10K off your phone. Girl, shut the fuck up. Not everybody is meant to create ebooks. These ebooks be having grammar errors. They ain't really helpful. The bitch got it off Google. Child, please. Ho boo, ho boo, bitch, bye. Bitch, go, go fill you out an application. What the fuck are you talking about? God is putting you back in the matrix so you can make money. See, the matrix was using you. Now you can use the matrix. Don't let these spiritualists, don't let these bitch ass people fool y'all. These All these people all in this spirituality trying to be in fucking la la land, bitch. Get up, get the, the real la la land is having faith that God will provide wherever you are. These hoes is being delusional. Get out that delusional mindset and get your ass in the faith mindset. Okay? I'm tired of that delusion. I'm just gonna be delusional, be delusional, be delusional. Your delusional ass is gonna be fucking stuck and fucking and dumb shit. Bitch, please. Matter of fact, make sure you guys purchase my ebook, okay? The Spiritual Survival Guide. It'll actually help you instead of fucking annoy you and fucking interrupt your peace. Okay, my spiritual survival guide will help you survive life, invest in life, become mentally and spiritually uh, stable, 
so you're able to become financially stable within the next 18 months. Also, I have the North Node and Aries survival guide coming out in a couple of weeks. Yeah, baby. One thing I'm gonna make sure, I'm gonna make sure all my folks straight. Y'all gonna have all the resources to be able to create wealth, real wealth. Not this, not this blue gazy ass shit these bitches trying to sell. You guys are going to be able to create real generational wealth. And it's going to come from the mindset. You're going to feed your mind to be able to implement things to your children, to your peers, to your colleagues. You know, the strongest thing, the strongest promotion of life is the word of mouth. Still reading the ebook. Love it so far. Oh my gosh. Thank you for that. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you take notes. It's a lot of information. I can't lie. It's a lot of information. But I pray that it helps you through everything that we're about to go through in life. For real. I might tell a joke, but I tell no lies. I need to go sit in the sun. I need to finish tanning. Okay, y'all. I think that's all the downloads that I have. I will be uploading this. Um, I'm not going to cap. I think I might close my schedule to the public. I might just only keep pre-records right now. I'm not going to lie. I might just keep pre-records open and no lives because I want to join this 31-day challenge. Oh, girl, you fine. Hell, I knew it was so much information when I fucking wrote it. So I knew it was going to take people some time to fucking write it. Trust me, you are perfectly fine. But yeah, I also want to participate in this 31-day challenge of investing in my natural self, for real. And I want to make sure that I'm the best version of myself when I write this second book. Because this book is going to be the book that has prophecies in it of what we're about to go through. So I want to make sure that it's it's top tier. I want to make sure that this book is top tier. The good thing is that the, the survival guide, I've already taught those things on different lives and stuff like that. But this new book, I really want to make sure that my energy is top tier. So I cannot wait to see you guys on this first. Um, a lot of my a lot of my information going forward will be on Patreon. So make sure y'all sign up for Patreon because baby, I'm going to be so hush in cancer season because baby, the energy is walking. Okay. The devil is trying to like listen and I don't have it for him. Okay. I don't have it for the devil right now. Okay. So I love y'all and I will see y'all later. I have not been able to get this mid-year report out. So this is the mid-year report. <sighs> Life is good, okay? Continue to enjoy life. I love you so much. Thank God, that was a fucking lizard. Bye, y'all.